One and one for Misamis Oriental Mustangs. And Gio, anything that you want to share with our viewers, viewers here with regards to the keys of the game or something your notes for a college student, oh. if you ask me? This is what they looked like back when he was with UE. Nothing changed. He, his age, his looks, most importantly, his game. You see there. No defense of the Aguilas. Baba with a sweet spin move and he gets fouled. Great body control for Eugene Toba. Misamis Oriental knows that they have the advantage right there inside the paint. Toba with a stop and the layup. Three point lead now for the Mustang for Darwish. Doromal finds Toba. Toba attacks the defense of Arafat, evades the defense and finishes with a lefty layup. Siyempre, pag iniisip mo yung landing mo, yung pain to, when you're about to go down, that plays a factor definitely. But Eugene Toba showing us that uh, the Mark DeRozan... Aggressive, running the brakes. And uh, sa Aguilas, maybe they were a bit settling na din from the outside. They were, as I've mentioned in the halftime analysis, they need Prince Eze to establish. Not usually known for a mid-range type of player. Let's take a look here. The Corsa tires move of the game dominate the streets. And uh, the same as well, but itong uh, uh, pupunta siya sa free throw but not converting. You know, they're again, this time Eugene Toba showing us he's not only... Man, this three-point shot of the game is brought to you by Corsa Motorcycle Tiles. Dominate the streets. Let's take a look there that Eugene Toba surprising everybody in this arena, including us. That Prince finished with a marketing degree here in the Philippines. So it just show, goes to show that uh, the kind of character that Prince Eze has. And uh, having a supportive mother as well. Putting a premium and education. Uh -huh. The game. We have here Nigeria's tower, Eugene Toba with double-double, 20 points and 14 rebounds. Eugene, first of all, congratulations. You know, you guys had a slow start. What turned the tables around for Misor? Uh, actually, um, we kind of like figured out how to play um, from the first half. Uh, we could see how they um, were shooting most of their three points and we noticed our defense was kind of lacking. So we kind of figured it out from the defense, which we had to base on. Then once we pick up on the defense, of course, the offense comes in from there. Eugene, you once graced the NCAA. Now you're here. What makes you keep going back to the Philippines to play basketball? Um, actually, I've always been here for long now. So um, basketball here is really wild and different. You know, when it's like um, compared to other countries, when you, when you play around here, you know, all the love and fans and everyone watching, you know, it makes you have the feeling to play basketball more every time. And it's what I really love about it, you know. You, there's sometimes you feel like you don't want to play, but due to the fans and people who, you know, the way they kind of like want you to play around and, you know, come around you, you have the feelings to play every time. So it's what keeps me playing more, most of the time. Plus, of course, I have the zeal to play. Looks like you'll be here for a long time. Um, last for me, Eugene, um, you know, the floor is yours and it's your time to greet. Um, I want to thank all my teammates and um, boss and um, Coach Leo and everyone who's watching, even my opponents, they, uh, they really played a good game. You know, respect for everyone. And uh, for the fans that are also watching, Marami Salama Pakayo, you know, thank you. Good job. Uh, back to you, Nico and Coach Gia.